Okay, here's the question. Enrico Fermi once pointed out that a standard 50-minute lecture period is close to one microcentury. How long is a microcentury in minutes, and what is the percent difference from Fermi's approximation? Okay, well, the first thing we need to do is figure out what a microcentury is. And I can tell you right now that one microcentury Micro is the prefix for one millionth, or 10 to the minus 6. So one microcentury is equal to 10 to the minus 6 centuries. So we want to find out how many minutes this is, but I say we start with just century. We all know what a century is. Uh, let's see how many minutes are in a century first. So we know that one century... And I'll abbreviate it as cent. Uh, we're going to do uh, is, is 100 years. So we're going to do a unit conversion, much like we did in question one of this section. Uh, we're going to multiply by one. We're going to multiply by uh, a unit conversion that gives us years to start. So we know that a century is, if we multiply this by one, i.e. 100 years, for every one century. So we multiply by what really is just equal to one here, 100 years divided by one century. Okay, well that gets us to years. How many days, let's say, are in a year? Well, depending on the year, there's either 365 days or 366 days. But over the course of 100 years, because that leap year is every fourth year, that means on average, each year is 365.25 days per year. Okay. Okay, so we've got it down to days. What about hours? Well, we know there are 24 hours in a day. All right. Remember, we're just these are all multiplications of 1 here. 100 years in a century, 365.25 days in a year, 24 hours in a day. What about minutes? Minutes in an hour. Well, that's pretty straightforward, too. 60 minutes in an hour. I need to give myself more room next time. Okay, so all we have to do now in this case, we see that the centuries cancel out with the centuries. The years will cancel out with the years, the days will cancel out with the days, and the hours will cancel out with the hours. Which leaves us, and this is a pretty big number here, this is 100 times 365.25 times 24 times 60. This gives us a century is equal to 52,596,000 minutes. That's a lot of minutes. How many minutes are in a microcentury? Well, if a microcentury is just, this is 52,596,000 minutes per century. Uh, if we want to know how many minutes there are in a microcentury, since a microcentury is just one millionth of a century, then we should be able to take this number, divide it by a million, or multiply it by 10 to the minus sixth, and we should get one microcentury is equal to, and dividing by a million here is just one, two, three, four, five, six, 52.596 minutes. Well, that's pretty close to 50 minutes, like Enrico Fermi estimated. Well, how far off is, is this number from the estimate? And we have to be careful because that's what they ask for. They ask, what is the percent difference from Fermi's approximation? So what we're going to say is the percent difference is equal to 52.596 minus 50 divided by 50. And this should give us about, what does this come out to be? This comes out to about 5.052, or 5 
0.2%. If you did this on your calculator, you'd get something along the lines of 0.05, I think it's like 195 or something like that. Uh, let's check that real quick. 52.596 minus 50 divided by 50. Yeah, the real number is 0 0.05192, which is about equal to 5.2%. Now remember the question asked the percent difference from the estimate. If this had said, what was the percent difference of Fermi's estimate from the actual number, then we would have gone 52.596 minus 50 divided by 52.596. So be careful there.